for this video, we'll be working on pragmatics and semantics, um, focusing on synonyms. A synonym is when two words have the same meaning. Um, for this instruction, my audience will be first and second graders. Um, what I did here was I put down eight word examples in two columns, left column and a right column. In the first row, happy and glad are synonyms, as well as mad and angry. I will connect these two in the line to show that there is a connection between the two words. Although they're different words, they have similar meanings. Therefore, it is a synonym. For the class activity, I supplied the class with plastic Easter eggs. Within these Easter eggs, um, a word is written on top or outside for example, one half has the word happy, another half has the word glad. Each half can be given to one student. The goal of the activity is for the student to, to find another peer who has the word happy and then another has the word glad, and so on with the other example words. Not only they're interacting with their peers and collaborating, but they, they're building a connection between how two words be the same and can be connected into one definition. Let's begin. Hi, good morning class. Can, for today, I want to start out how everyone's feeling today. Can, so raise your hand if you're happy. All right, good. Raise your hand if you're feeling glad. Okay, less hands, but still good. Raise your hand if you're feeling a little bit mad today. How about angry? Okay. Raise your hand if, if you're hungry. Okay. How about if you're starving? Stop. Raise your hand if you have a friend. Raise your hand if you have a pal. All right, today in class, I want to talk about synonyms. Not cinnamon, but synonyms. They do sound the same. So for synonym, what it means is that synonyms are words that have similar meanings. So for example, right here is the word happy, and over here is the word glad. Glad is the synonym of happy, and happy is the synonym of glad. Happy means if you're happy, you're cheerful, you're having fun, you are excited. Glad has a similar feeling too. It's a very positive feeling. You're happy, you're excited, you're feeling great. These two have similar definitions, similar meaning, but of course they're different words. Right? Mad, angry. Mad and angry are synonyms to each other. So the synonym of mad is angry. The synonym of angry is mad. They have similar meaning, but they're still different words. All right, let's do the next one. Hungry, starved. Hungry is the synonym of starved. Starved is the synonym of Here's a little tricky one. Friend and pal. Friend is the synonym of pal, and pal is the synonym of friend. They're two different words, but they mean, but they have a similar meaning. That you have a pal, you have a friend. So can you tell me what's the synonym of happy? Glad, yes, correct. What's the synonym of pal? Friend, that's right. What's the synonym of friend? Pal, correct. All right, so pal. So for today's activity, I brought eggs to class, plastic eggs. Um, I also took them apart and put them in two halves. One egg will have the word happy, and 
another A would have the word black. One A would have the word mad, and another A would have the word angry, and so on. I also put other words in for you to match up. Each student would have his, his or her own A half. It's your job to find the other half that has similar definition, or if they are a synonym to each other. So go ahead, pick up your half of your A, and find the partner or peer who has a synonym of your word. Good luck.